Okay, so I saw this gacha pawn ball vending machine over on Maker World, and I thought it could be something good to to put together for selling online. And it's one of these things that you know sell these little you can put little little fidget in there, stick it in one of these balls, and then have your very own vending machine, which you could probably charge people. Uh, I don't know a little bit of money. Um, to have a go and get themselves a ball or you could use it as some type of giveaway uh, Like I'm going to do on my TikTok shop. So yeah, uh, I thought I would print it out and I have printed it out and it is looking good But it needs putting together. So in this video I'm going to put it together and show you step by step how we build this thing. Let's go So the first thing that came off the printer was the internal part here Which is the chute in which the ball will drop into as you can see, I just used some old um, filament up that I didn't require. Um, and yeah, it was just sitting on the shelf, so why not use it up? The finish wasn't very good on here. I'm not sure why, whether that's part of the design or there was some flaw in the printer. But as you can see, for some reason, we do have a little bit of abrasion going on around the edges there. Not sure why. So this was the first thing that came off along with this part here which took about 12 hours on the Elegoo carbon uh, Centauri carbon um, so this was the, uh, the other piece that came off here and these two parts they slot together like so obviously I would suggest maybe gluing that um, to make sure it doesn't come apart under the weight but uh, it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere on to the next bit the next part is this cog, printed it off in pink, which sits inside here, like so. That's your cog, you can see that. Sits inside there, moves nice and freely like that. And then we have the handle. Now, you get two choices of handle. You get the, the normal one like this, or a heart-shaped one like that. I think I'm going to go with this one for now, um, but we may change over to that one depending on what I use this machine for. Handle on the back there, quite self-explanatory, slots in like so, nice fit. So next part is this internal piece here, that just sits very nicely in like so you can put magnets in the bottom of these guys if you wanted to um, I haven't personally got any of this size at the moment otherwise I would have done that obviously keep the uh, this part at the front here so it gives you enough room for your cog okay so one thing to note straight away is the tolerances aren't the best on this it did take some persuasion to get them in but once it's in it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere the next part is this middle section here that sits in like that and then we have the mechanism that needs to interlock with the cogs at the front and that will give you a nice turning me mechanism and then we have this um, top section here which sits very nicely like that now we have these little windows that sit in each section like that I'm going to um, glue these in for, on, for mine. Um, you, you could again use other alternative methods for getting them in, but I'm going to glue mine, so give me a minute. So I got myself a bag of these gumball machine um, balls from Amazon. I'll stick the link in the bottom along with everything else that I use. I'll stick it all in the comment section. But yeah, I got a bag of, I think, 50 of these, so let me just put these together and we'll put them in the machine. Yeah, I've stuck some balls in there. I've only put like a dozen or so in there for now, for de demonstration purposes. But um, now all there's left to do is to put on the lid and turn the knob. Let's see if it works. And there we go. And there we go. We got our first. Gumball, or I don't know what you call these things. What do you call these things? But yeah, we got our first ball anyway, with our prize in it. See, I'm really happy with how that turned out. I mean, 
it's obviously just something a bit of fun but uh, it could liven up anyone's life or you know if you do stalls or whatever farmers market you could have it there with a little sign or you could even put some text on it yourself um, and you know charge I don't know a dollar a go or maybe two dollars or three dollars for two goes or something along them lines and just stick in you know one of your little little uh, fidgets in there or little little flexi toy or anything like that it's just a bit of fun really and it should get people reaching in their pockets especially kids when they see that they want to have a go so if you've enjoyed the video please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel i try to do videos like this all of the time and i will drop all the links to the files and the other bits and pieces that i've used in the video uh, in the description below until next time guys i'll see you later